Guys, let's talk about those two short-handed goals in less than a minute. Uh, I'll start with this Mark and Sam there. Just how big, how big was that? You know, the turning point of the game. Uh, I thought it was huge. We uh, just came off a couple, uh, a couple power plays. We really had a lot of momentum. Uh, didn't get any goals, but we were in their zone for minute 45 when we saw two minutes of the power play. So uh, really drained their guys and uh, gave us a little bit of momentum. Then on the penalty kill, it was just a nice clear by Noah. I was able to pick it up off the D-man, take it down, and give it to Sammy. And uh, from there, we just kept rolling from one, two, three. It happened real quick. And uh, it was good to see that we got that uh, that wherewithal that we can kind of bend but don't break. They're up one nothing, and then we bring it back and get three quick ones on yeah, I thought uh, I thought our power play did a good job. Obviously, didn't score score goals on those uh, power plays early on, but uh, they applied pressure and uh, and really wore them down. Uh, like Mark said, uh, they wore them down, and and we were able to get there on the kill and kind of take it to their guys that have been uh, been on the power play for a while. So, uh, yeah, Mark made a good play on the on the goal, and then uh, Champer did a good, really good job uh, uh, driving wide and and driving to the net, and then uh, uh, Jiggy was able to pound it home. A game like this illustrate the importance of winning those one-on-one puck possession battles, or the setting up the first goal, and you know, especially Spencer on that third goal. And how does that does that energize the team when you see a guy do that? A little thing like that set up and turn the tide of the game. Uh, yeah, um, game's all about one-on-one battles. It's how bad you want it compared to the other guy. And uh, they didn't play last night. We knew they were going to be fresh, and uh, they're going to want something to prove after we went up there and beat them two games in a row. So they were hungry. Uh, they played a hard-fought battle, but uh, I think we won most of those one-on-one battles, and that's why we came up on top. Mike, for you personally, you know, obviously a former UNH recruit, you didn't play last year because of the, the Monarch situation. Uh, does this game mean anything to you, you know, getting a goal and assist against this team? Uh, you know, it obviously felt pretty good. Um, but I don't really hold a grudge against them. Uh, they're a great program and everything. Uh, I have the mo- most respect for Dickie Millie and um, the whole program. Uh, I think you guys already know the story. It just didn't work out, and we went our separate ways. But in the end, it felt good to finally get to play against them and have a goal and an assist. You shared a nice embrace there at the end. What did you guys say to each other? Uh, you just said, played a great game, and good luck the rest of the season. And I thanked them and said the same, good luck. And it was pretty nice. He's a, he's a great guy. Sebastian's goal, how did that play start? I didn't I didn't see it. I mean, you got, you got the secondary assist on that. Yeah, um, I think they were going for a change. and. Their guy just started swinging, and I kind of angled him off and pinched him off before the blue line, and I just chipped it to Champini, and he was taken off and had speed and just drove the net, and then obviously Sebastian just followed up the play and right home the rebound. What about your goal? It was you know, looked like a harmless wrist shot or from there? Yeah, I mean, like you said, Fu had a great one-on-one battle, beat the guy, and I was swinging low, so I had a lot of speed, and he chipped it, and I beat the D, and um, we talked about their goal. He's a big guy, but... Um, I just saw five hole really. He's a big guy, so he had to go down, drop pretty low, and I just slid five hole and beat him. Two games in, two wins. How is the team feeling right now in the early go- get go of the season? Um, it's nice to get the two points uh, both nights and everything, but uh, we know as a team we need to get better. Uh, going up to Maine is going to be difficult, and then St. Cloud's coming here. They're obviously a great team, so. We just uh, we know we need to get better and focus on the details and everything. So I think um, we're happy with the sweep this weekend, but we know we need to be better the rest of the season.